Okay, then I'll just say, set your questions on the game if you'd like to start. As frustrating as that was, can you not be too disappointed because you did create a lot of chances in that game? Hey. You have to be dis disappointed with the result, but the performance, as you say, was a good one. We created miles more chances today than we compared to, for example, in the cup game when we played them. I thought we, uh, of course, the, the first goal always determines how the game will go, and maybe they, after they scored the first goal, let us have the ball more than they wanted to. But we, we created chances, big chances, hit the woodwork twice. Uh, Leno played well. So in terms of what you can control as your own performance, we, sh we shouldn't be too disappointed. Then again, they've got three points and we haven't. What do you think about the, the penalty situation? Well, I don't think it is, but that's uh, the decision uh, he, uh, he made. I don't think there's any, any contact enough there to, um, to warrant the pen for that. Or? No, it's not a dive. No, no, no. They, they, Fred... Apparently, it's very, very strong. Did you think it was a, a, a very rare, albeit maybe a mistake? Or how did you I, I don't class it as a mistake, as in because I'm stood right behind the ball. Of course, we don't put pressure on Chaka. He must be Brazilian, by the way, because the way he struck the ball and it swirls and it moves in the air, it goes towards David's left and it changes direction completely. So that's just um, one of those things. Oli, Marcus Rashford had some uh, opportunities. Do you think it was too much for him in, t in a short space of time? Because normally you expect him to finish at least one of those that he had. Oh, well, there's a couple of good blocks there as well. And no, it's not too much uh, in too short a uh, space of time. We, we created chances. Sometimes, I know more than anyone probably, uh, that sometimes you get chances and you don't take them. And that's... We just didn't take him. Rom, Marcus, both of them been fantastic. And today, uh, the woodwork or a, a good goalkeeper or a Chaka leg when he blocked that one towards the end is just in, in the way for for a goal. Uh, it also surprising with the tactics because after the FA Cup game, you came in here and you gave a brief history of how you hit Arsenal on the break. So do you think they might have paid attention to what he said then? <laughs> no, we we knew obviously that they're going to play with three at the back to. Uh, to uh, stop our runs down the sides, and, but as I said earlier, the first game, the first goal in a game determines how the game will look. And when they got the first one, uh, they're in the ascendancy, and of course it's. Um, but as we said, we, you can't be disappointed with the performance. The, all the amount of big chances we created, five big ones at least. Sorry. Tight. Well, nervous. I, th I don't think uh, nerves uh, go into it yet. But of course, you see, Spurs lose, we lose, Chelsea draw. So it's it's going to be down to the wire, down to the last few games, definitely. And uh, but we've given us a great chance to to be in in that fight. We're two two points behind fourth, three points behind third, which is a good position to be in. No, we don't have to choose because uh, you know with the with the injuries we've had uh, lately, that's given us a great chance to give players playing time and game time, and they're coming back probably uh, maybe for the Wolves. But after the international break, we've got the full squad fit, and that and the ones who've come in. When the call it the regulars have been injured, they've done really well. So we'll be ready for that. Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't uh, get to see exactly what happened, but of course there shouldn't be a place uh, that someone runs onto the pitch. But then again, uh, yeah, it's not nice to see. But yeah, so you're right. So we just have to. Uh, Make sure that we keep. To, we we'll play football, and they can watch playing football. It's just one of them things that we don't want to see. I know you said that you didn't think it was a mistake by David. There was a suggestion from the commentary that perhaps his contract talks are causing a little bit of a problem. Ah, <laughs> uh, not at all. David's really focused and concentrated. He's too professional to uh, to let his mind wander, and that's that's a. You know the best players; they they know how to focus, and he's he's been absolutely fantastic. Okay, last question. Sorry, I turned. Uh, 
Oh, you have the internet. Okay. Yeah, all your, your former teammate, Henning Bain, said that he thinks that this was one of the, your best games, even though you lost. Do you agree yeah. with that assessment? Well, he's got a good point because there's not very often that you go to Arsenal and create, say, four or five bigger, bigger chances than we did. And they never had one, really. They had a long, they had a strike, and then they got a penalty. It didn't really create too many chances. So, Henning's not, uh, he's not far off there, to be fair. <laughs> oh, have you made plans for next season as well? Uh, no, not really. Oh, we started pre-season uh, plans, but uh, we uh, now it's Wolverhampton in the cup. Okay, guys, thank, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Hello, bro.